Hey Gapsters, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna give you guys a close up look into my second trimester. The first trimester video, it was a little more structured, but right now, whew, I just gotta let it flow off my brain. So the second trimester. Definitely a little different from the first. This is my first pregnancy, so I really don't have anything to compare it to. We did find out we are having a baby girl. I have definitely been tired. The first trimester, I was a little bit more fatigued and a little bit more nauseous, and that is like phenomenal, okay? But it is still there. It's not as strong. I also have problems breathing, so bear with me. I definitely feel like our body is trying to get back to normal if there is a normal. My cravings have definitely shot to the sweeter side. I'm wanting a lot of like juice and sweets. I was like, oh my God, okay, I gotta cut down on these sweets because I have to do the um, glucose test. If you're not familiar with what the glucose test is, it's basically just trying to see if you have gestational diabetes. Basically, you get to your appointment and then you get this little drink i was lucky enough not to get the orange if you have an option between orange and something else get the something else because i've heard i never tasted it but i heard the orange is the worst so i think i got fruit punch it was actually good so i just downed it and then after that they take your blood sample you sit there for i think like an hour or two and then from there you wait for your results and then that's where it ends if you are negative but if you are positive then you have to retest if it comes back positive again and then you have gestational diabetes and then your doctor will go forth with handling that how they feel like they need to. But thank God we did not have that. But that is definitely something that you do in the second trimester. And the little tales that I've heard about having a baby girl and what comes with it, basically the one that I really heard a lot was that if you have a girl, she like takes all of your beauty. You have a lot of acne and all that. But as you can see, my skin is super clear and we are still... <laughs> Fine is one, okay? So I feel like my baby girl then boosted it. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely more gassy. Like I'm Belgian and Burbank all the time. I tell my boyfriend all the time, like this is the most that I've ever burped in my life. Like period, <laughs> I'm not even joking. Definitely more gassy, both ends. <laughs> but mostly like burping a lot. I definitely started feel her moving around. It took a little while for me to basically to grasp what it was because I was feeling a feeling, but I just automatically assumed like it was just gonna be full force. Like, you know how people say, oh, my baby's moving around and you can see like the footprints, the kicks and all that. I thought that that's how it's gonna start out, but it did not. You kind of like just feel minimal movements after I paid attention for a while, I was like, oh, okay, so that is what it feels like. But it gradually gets stronger and stronger as the weeks go on. She is in there just, I feel like, having a ball. And then another thing that I saw on one of our ultrasounds, which was, oh my God, so stinking cute. She was in there with her legs crossed, like propped up, like, this is my domain. This is my time. I am the star of this show. And I'm just in here chilling and y'all just gonna have to bow down. I do want to show you guys a few of the ultrasound pictures that we got back. Let's get into these photos. Like, oh my God, how cute. So this is her. These are kind of like all the same. If you look closely, you can see her feet and her leg. Then here you can just see her full body, her head, her arm, just seeing her growth from the first trimester to that. Because if you guys go back and look at the first trimester recap, if you haven't, I'll link it here. She was just like so small. So for now to see her at that size, it is just amazing. As far as like bodily changes, I do see my underarms getting a little bit darker and um, around here in my neck, the boobs are definitely changing, the areolas and all of that, they're darkening obviously because of the hormones. It kind of looks a little weird just because I'm so light-skinned. I feel like I'm a little two-toned. I am having a little more difficulty sleeping. I have been using my Baby Bub pillow, so shout out to Baby Bub for gifting me that pillow because it has made it a little bit more comfortable. I definitely recommend getting a maternity pillow or a pregnancy pillow if you do not have one because that can absolutely make or break your sleep 
while you're pregnant. I am gaining a little bit of weight. I think the last time I went to my appointment, I was like close to 200 pounds. The good thing about it, nothing else is really getting big on me versus my boobs and then my stomach. I, I feel like I'm just gonna be mostly stomach, mostly baby. My feet are not really swelling. Definitely starting to see that Linnea Negra line. Hopefully I said that correctly, that dark line that goes down the middle of your stomach. I do not have any stretch marks. Thank God, but I've still been using like my shea butter lotion for the stretch marks and then my 100% African shea butter because I am not trying to have any stretch marks. I'm sorry. Another thing, my acid reflux and my heartburn, it's definitely gradually getting stronger and stronger. I have trouble breathing as well. Oh, and the great thing is I found out that I developed bronchitis. I don't know if you guys remember, but I was sick around my birthday. My boyfriend had got sick and I was taking care of him, not even thinking like you're pregnant, you cannot be that close to him because your immune system is so open and it is not as strong as it normally is and you can get sick just like that. And what happened, I did. And from there, I just developed this cough and it would not go away, would not go away no matter what I did. Finally went to get it checked out and it was bronchitis and I'm just like, Really, it took me to get pregnant to develop bronchitis. I've never had any issues with my breathing or anything like that. And um, unfortunately, I've developed bronchitis. Sometimes it's so strong where I'm coughing and it'll make me gag and like throw up. I have been craving like sweets, but it's been like the sour sweets, like sour punches. I don't know what it is, cause I don't even really like like sour sweet kind of candy. And I've been wanting like Flaming Hots and it's just like, I've been wanting all the bad stuff and it's just like on a different level. I do notice that I get full faster. Another food that I have been craving, pizza. Pizza, 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 pizza. Like every weekend I'm like, babe, what do you want to eat? He's like, what do you want to eat? And I was like, Pizza. <laughs> also with the working out situation, they say you're supposed to at least walk 30 minutes a day. I honestly have, man. <laughs> I'll do it every now and again, but it's it has not been like every day because the exhaustion it has just been increasing and it's just like mostly all I wanna do is just relax. As far as the doctor's appointments, we are still on every four weeks. Once we get into the third trimester, I think it's around like 30, 31 weeks. I'm, I don't quote me on that. We'll start going every two weeks and then somewhere in the later 30s is gonna be every week until baby gets here. So I can't really think of anything else that I will wanna talk about in the second trimester. We still have the baby shower to go. We just did our gender reveal via YouTube and it was live and everybody joined in. So if you guys did not watch that, even though I just told you what we're having, you can click the link there. It was just such an amazing moment. Outside of that, I think that is literally all I want to share with you guys. If you are not subscribed, you know what to do. All the expected mothers, congratulations. All the expecting mothers as myself, congratulations. I am so happy to be on this journey with you guys. That is a wrap for the second trimester recap. I love you guys so much and until next time, peace.